everyone, and welcome to Artificial Conference Podcast. I am here with the one, the only, Don Allen Stevenson the third. Welcome, brother. Hey, thank you so much for having me. Excited to be here. This is a big one. Yeah, but, man. Uh, super excited. Here we are in year zero of artificial intelligence, and it's already blowing my mind and blowing a lot of people's minds. So really excited to have you. You're coming up. We're coming up on the conference. You're going to be one of our headline speakers talking about all the different tools for creativity. I think you got 10 or something in there for creativity and creation. Why would anybody really want to listen to you specifically talk on this subject? Yeah. So for me, I got a lot of experience. I used to teach at DreamWorks. So I taught all of our creative software for three years. I worked on How to Train Your Dragon and Boss Baby, a bunch of these films. And I decided to resign so I could focus on training the public through social media. And so I'm sharing a lot of that same knowledge and expertise and skills. I teach the same stuff that I taught at Feature Animation Studios. I teach it now online. And I'm going to be able to bring that all together in a nice package here for our conference. Oh, I love it, man. I love it. So what would you say to someone who wants to attend? What would they, who should attend your presentation? Because there's a lot of different people. Some people into art, some people into business. How do I use this for product? I'm a content creator. I run a small business. I'm looking to get started. Who should really attend your presentation particularly? I would say curious creatives. So if you're already a creative person and you're just curious about how you can leverage some new tools, this would probably be a perfect conference for, for you to attend to. If you're someone who is trying to know about what's next and you want to be a little bit ahead of your peers, then yeah, I think you should come to my talk. And then maybe a third group would be if you're just trying to upskill, yeah, you want to have an upskilling ability. I would like to help upskill you at the top. That's awesome, man. So what would you say to someone who's on the fence? Like, you know what, uh, should I really invest in AI and additional education? There's a lot of different stuff out there. What would you say to someone who's on the fence about diving in, making a little bit of an investment and engaging full on with the conference, your presentation and all the other speakers? Yeah. So if you're on the fence about whether or not you should attend artificial conference, I think you should definitely attend so you don't get left behind in this context, because the last time there was this much innovation about to happen, it was like if you weren't part of it, you got left behind. And that is an active choice that you're making by not attending. You you're saying, I don't mind being left behind. So if you don't want that kind of not great feeling, you should attend. It'll feel much better to be aware of what's going on and what's coming next. Yeah, that's it's a big deal. We have so many people attending and we have so many different speakers with different worlds of expertise. And one of the things is AI is changing everything. So artificial intelligence, machine learning is affecting all the different industries and things aren't moving. We can't move fast enough to keep up with the amount of knowledge and everything that's changing every day. Th things are becoming obsolete. There's a whole new system of different things. How have you seen AI and artificial intelligence just within your field, both education and creativity? And what's exciting developments do you foresee in the near future? The biggest thing that's changed is iteration time. The amount of time it used to take me to iterate on ideas was a lot slower, weeks, days. And that has now been compressed to seconds, to moments. So now that it takes moments and seconds to iterate on an idea, what I see happening in the future is people are going to be able to take on a lot more ambitious, creative ideas. There's not going to be as much of a punishment for experimenting. You're going to be rewarded for your experimentation. And I'm very excited for that part because we're going to see just like this boom that wasn't allowed to be boomed before in this space. Yeah, that's one of the big things that got me into this was in just in creativity overall was the barriers to entry on the software just seemed so insurmountable that my ideas would take forever to come out. And now with the different tools, it makes it seem like, wow, the only thing holding me back now is really me because I can create anything like the ability to create is really out there so people are going to be attending both virtually online as well as in person what would you be what would be a couple of the takeaways that you would want people to take away for their personal or professional lives from attending and checking you out the main thing i would like you to take away from both your personal and professional is just the sense of relief that you're not going to be left behind in the future just like the sense of I can be future proof. I can future proof myself. I'm not too old. I'm not too young to be left behind. You you don't have to. So I'm hoping that when you go away from my talk, you're, you come back with this kind of this refreshed idea of 
all the different things that you can possibly build and do. And you'll be like, oh, I can do these things. They're practical. They're applicable to me. I can take these into my day to, my day to day life right now. It's a big deal. So with everybody attending the conference, we have a lot of different folks. We have other artists and creatives. We have people talking about the world of education. We have attorneys talking about copyright and ownership and integrating AI into your business and what potential ways you can protect yourself and your business in that world, as well as just automation, which is huge. That's a, like a game changer. Is there any artist and or creator or professional or speaker on our lineup or any panel that you're excited for? with the conference. I'm excited to see Matt Wolf. I see a lot of his work on YouTube and I feel like I'm getting like daily news updates from Matt Wolf. And it's so cool that he's also going to be speaking and has a presentation. I'm just so excited to hear what he has to say. So yeah, I feel like it's going to be really fun. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, Sorry. Matt Wolf, yeah, he's actually going to be hosting the business and business and automation, business legal automation panel. So that's going to be really cool and to have you part of that as well to be able to talk and go back and forth. Cause I feel that's going to be, that's on the second day and it's towards the end. So we're going to see a lot of the different content and then we're going to hear from an attorney. And then we've already seen business automation from Anthony Lee. So everybody's going to pretty much have gone. And that's going to be our big panel before our other panel, which is like building the future together. So we get with, with all the different minds on that. So it's going to be a really fun thing. God, this is going to be such a blast. I don't think you realize how excited I am to like be here. Cause it's just, it's like taking everybody that's trying to accelerate in the future and putting them all into the same space together. And now we're all going to be like accelerating the acceleration that we're already on. It's like you had a rocket and then you're like, cool, I have more rockets on this rocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rockets with sub rockets. Well, that's one of the big things. Like we, we went with the tagline. It's not just join the future, but we're really coining the frame AIT, which is accelerate, integrate, and transform. So those are the aspects that we're really looking to help people with is to inspire attendees to accelerate their learning. And that's something that everybody who's signing up, attending the conference, they're already going to do. So they're already in that acceleration mode. They're not lagging behind, but then they're going to be able to integrate. And that's what actually being there and showing up your class, the classes, whether it's the panels is how to integrate this into their life which then will transform them. Like your life is not going to, there's no way your life doesn't transform while using this technology. Like it has to, it's everything. like you said, from iteration, development time, everything changes. So that's the whole thing with artificial conferences, AIT, accelerate, integrate, transform. So that's a big thing. I'm so glad that you mentioned that. So one of the big things is people are on their way. They're signing up both online and in-person, and there's going to be an online component and online community that's built around this. But networking is an integral part of the conference experience. What advice would you give to attendees to maximize their interactions and forge meaningful connections with participants? Yeah. So if you're going to be attending physically at the conference, one of the main pro tips, my dog just barked, I'll say it again. Oh, it doesn't matter. If you're going to be attending this conference in person, the main thing I would say you want to do is download to your phone any clips that you want to show of your work, any anything, it should be already loaded on your phone and not just randomly scattered. You don't have time to go finding it and thumbing through it. I would encourage you right now to make a folder on your camera roll and load up your favorite stuff, your best work, what people know you for, what you want to see in the future. Have it as a file. It's already there. And then when you go to this conference, you have that already a click away because there's not going to be time to go looking around for stuff. You want to have the most reliable connection to show your work and that moment, that spark, but you don't want to just evaporate. You have that moment and it'll be so great when you pull out your stuff, you have something to show that you didn't have to download. You didn't have to wait for any signal. It was just already there. It is so helpful to do that. And if you want, I would encourage you to maybe change the background of your phone to a QR code that leads to where you want to take people. So maybe people don't have time to exchange business cards. You just have your phone, you show a background, they scan it, connections made so that you can stay present and have meaningful conversations while you're there. Wow. I love that. That's not only like good advice for this conference, but just good advice for professionalism and then just making connections. That's awesome, brother. So anytime. Yeah. Lastly, you've spoken at a number of conferences, TED Talks. You're just over recently at Apple. You've been at a lot of big places. What has you excited about this conference and coming together with these pioneers? What makes me, so I love conferences in general, the energy that 
the energy that you bring when a lot of people come together on a topic and they all want to see and learn about the future and there's that excitement. So I actually haven't been to a conference that's just dedicated on artificial intelligence specifically, narrowly. For me, like this is extremely exciting because it's like taking a laser beam focus on a topic and, and highlighting the people that are trying to accelerate the space. So I'm excited to go to a spot where AI isn't just like an add-on. AI isn't just this extra thing in a side room at a side panel. It's no, this is the focus. This is the focus of the conference. So I like going there because in my mind, it's okay, I can dive deep with people. You don't have to explain too much about what AI is. You're going to be able to just dive deep in conversation and deep into networking with people that are already on that same page. Yeah, so true. That's awesome. Any last things you want to share with the audience or anybody else who's going to be attending both virtually or in person before we head out? I bring questions. If you're going to be attending, I think if you have questions, it is a really safe time for experimentation. We all have to be like scientists right now and we have like hypotheses about the future, but it's really about how do we test our experiments and we're in that early, there's not, there's nothing solved yet. We're trying to learn together. So it's okay to bring your questions. I, I think it'd be highly encouraged and be really fun for folks to, to get to know you from your questions. That's awesome. Don Allen, thank you so much for joining us and man, I can't wait to see you at the conference, brother. 